We've seen everyone today going right over those trees. If they don't push it far enough right, they've all been going through the fairway. They doubt they're about 30 yards short of the green. It sounds crazy, but that's where it needs to be. How about like that? How that is that, guys? Great okay. shot from Kepka. <laughs> wow, what a start. Okay. Kepka, 331 yard drive. So just 59 yards to the hole. See, his body was a little open to the target, aimed just left of the hole. Hit a beautiful little shot. Oh, there. wow. What ah. an early message from Kepka. Not a lot in this. To get to eight under. What a start for Kepka. Huge drive, sporty pitch, and a birdie for Brooks. He's an eight under par. I mean, did he make that look easy or what, fellas? Just an iron, just a, about 240. He's probably looking for. That's Gucci, That's bro. Good. Another one right in the middle of the fairway. That's all you need on the second yep. hole. Here is Kepka, just 136 to the hole. That'll come back. And another chance for birdie for Brooks. And right now, he's been taking care of business. Brooks, birdie, book it. Right in the middle. I'd say that's taking care of it. It's a four iron for Kepka. It's plenty of club. the thick stuff beyond the green. It's a good spot to miss it, though. Really That's the miss. Yep. The miss is definitely to the right. He's surprised it got that deep. And here is Brooks Kepka's second shot. Going long off the tee at the par three third. Caught a manageable lie. Took care of the first part of this business. Similar situation here for Kepka trying to save par. Nicely done. You know, I don't think that missed the center by a millimeter. Just watch the tempo of Brooks's swing here. Holds the finish. Again, it's perfect. 178 mile an hour ball speed. You see there, you barely got any roll, so the long hitters still have a huge advantage. On par fives this year, he goes for it into 83% of the time. That leads the tour. No he likes it too. You can see there. You can see how he kicked up his right foot as he started moving towards the hole. How about that? I mean, that's for Eagle. I think he's got a pretty good chance of making his first birdie on a par five this week. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Stays on point, stays on, stays focused. All right, here's Kepka for Eagle. He's just toying with him, boys. Instead, he'll have his third birdie of the day in his first four holes. He just wanted a temporary stop at 10 under par. <laughs> Double digits for Kepka. He's 10 under. There it is. 22 holes in, we got him 10 under par. So you just got to trust your line here and let her rip. down the right side into the rough. You know, he'll have a difficult uphill second shot. Uh, you know, again, can't run the ball up, only see about half the flag. Really enjoyed being with you guys this week. Yeah, us too. All right, Kepka's second. Nine iron, all the way. And there you go, both guys missed the fairway, one left, one right, and you know, it's probably 20, 30% they were gonna hit that green. 
like he came up maybe just a little too much sand on that shot came up slightly short. Well, you just got to hit him harder. Always like to. Tough stance right there for Kepka. Yeah, look really. This. Look at this. Can never tell. Still looks as solid as can be. Three birdies in the first five holes. I agree with it. I'd, I'd rather stay sharp playing in tournament golf than maybe going home and getting a little bit distracted. Everybody needs their rest, but then you can see him aimed, trying to kick a field goal almost between those two bunkers you can see down the left side. And that ball looks, looks to have found the right rough down the bottom of the hill there. Looks like you can see Brooks' ball, too. He might have caught a decent lie here, guys. Just 105 to the hole. Out of the rough, Kepka's second. Middle of the green, go. smart play from Brooks Kepka. Kepka also with a birdie opportunity just inside 18 feet. Again, I think Brooks is a player that feeds off this energy when a guy like Tiger makes a pot. Right line, just a little let, lack of speed, and you know, again, he he missed he missed the fairway off the tee, which kind of left him in a tough spot, but caught a good lie and still had a pretty good birdie opportunity. Kepka's hit three of five fairways, averaging 302 yards so far today off the tee. That's a big drive from Kepka. Wow. Brooks kind of challenged that right side, and the, those that you can see those clump of trees there. But the beautiful drive for Brooks, and he's in another another great opportunity here at seven. So now just an eight, eight iron. iron wow. From, wow, 172 yards. Perfect angle. Holding that finish again. Looks like right of the hole, maybe. Again, good solid shot. Has a chance to add to his lead right here. Birdie for Kepka at seven. Another great putt, perfect speed. Again, as we mentioned, he, he made his putted beautifully yesterday, he made over 120 feet of putt. So not only is he striking the ball well and driving it great, but he's he's got that flat stick going. Again, Brooks with a seven iron here. That's Gucci, bro. Oh. Trying to work this back right to left, and it stays towards the center of the green. Safe shot from Kepka, the leader by four, and now the crowd going wild for Tiger. This is Brooks for birdie here after a good solid seven iron right in the middle of the green. And Brian hasn't hasn't really made a mistake, just played flawless golf here in the first seven holes. Three early birdies in the first four holes, and just going about his business like he has for the first two days here. Well, I think that was the big story, J.J., after round one and that incredible 63. Could he keep that going? And he comes right out of the gate with birdie, birdie, and then another, and it's just continuing. Right over the middle of the left bunker. I mean, honestly, if he goes right, he'll go through. So this one needs oh. to get down. Sideboard saved him. Just on top there. Kepka is up on top of the shelf and has a better look at this whole location. 169 yards. This potentially could be just an eight iron for Brooks. That was a nice break to be up on the flat. Yep. Seriously. I don't care who you are. You keep missing fairways and having to punch out. You know, you're not used to having to lay up on par fours when you do miss fairways like you do in major championships. It just wears on you. You know, that's why you just have to stay in the moment. He's done a pretty good job of it. And obviously with what he's got ahead with 9, 10, 11, and or excuse me, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and then, of course, before you cross the road, he's, he's got some hard holes in front of him. So for him to make a birdie like that. Nice to get a absolutely. circle on the books there before you hit that stretch. Kepka thought he had that. Yeah, 
and frankly, so did everybody else. <laughs> I mean, he's been making a lot of putts this week. No, he's got a three hole test coming up. Starting at the 10th. I mean, I was I was really curious at the start of this round. You know, what, what, how would Brooks react? I mean, you know, he's proven himself. He's it's just incredible what he's done and how he's played. Now Kepka at the par four tenth. Oh, looks like he got a little ahead of that one. Yeah. Now Kepka from the fairway bunker right side of this tenth hole, 199 yards. I need 185 to be safe to get at least get into the front bunkers. Again, here's one of those those elevated second shots with you know thick rough short of the green. What's the technique on this shot here? How do you launch this out of that heavy stuff? It, it's obviously open face and uh, it's like a bunker shot. Came out a little hot. Brooks hadn't made a bogey in 40 those last 40 holes at the PGA Championship, so he's. Well, here's that test we talked about without a bogey to this point in the 101st PGA Championship. And I've watched him play a lot of golf this year as well as DJ. The imp one of the impressive features of both of these guys' games is their speed control putting. It's been phenomenal. Just they have nothing left most of the time. Well, that's the third time Kepka has left it short but right on line in this second round. Well, 10, 11, 12. They've proven to be the really tough stretch of this golf course. Again, like you said, he's not worried about. He's going to make mistakes. He's human, even though he hasn't really looked at the first couple days. Well, going with the driver here at 11 and well, looking to get back on track. One. Hates that one. Yeah, beautiful shot there from Kepka at the 11th. From 127, Brooks Kepka here at the 11th. Tugged it. You can see from his follow through, just didn't quite keep his belt line turning. When your belt line stops, something's got to turn, and it's normally going to be your hands. The face shuts down, and the ball goes left. For Kepka, he hasn't had many of these, but it's a long putt. Just send it out to the left. Should pick up some speed and start to scuttle towards the cup. Well, I've been counting these a bit. He's been a little tentative. Tiger Woods in danger here. He's got to get some birdies in the upcoming holes. Now Kepka. Nice tempo. No doubt there. And three birdies in his first nine. A bogey at 10, but a solid par four there at the 11th. Like the seventh where Kepka had to take it way out over the trees. Down the right hand side. Look at how far left he's aimed here. Yeah, just to avoid going through the fairway. Different line there for Kepka. And a much shorter approach. Anything he wants right here. Any shot in his arsenal, whatever he's most comfortable with. Much different apex here. Kepka going all the way back to the upper shelf on the fly. Different play. Glimpse into the soul of a man who's nine under par and leading by only three now as Adam Scott has made another birdie. Make them come get you. Don't give it to them. I'll tell you, Ned, the tally continues. Good putts, but just coming up short throughout this second round. Mark my words, that's a good sign. As Brooks Kepka steps to the tee. Boy, he doesn't waste any time. And just belts it down the middle. So Kepka in perfect shape. So now that the group ahead has cleared, 
Brooks Kefka prepares for his approach here from 287 with a little wind in the face. Right between the one and the three on the tower. Brooks. Hey, Brooks. That was laced. Oh, wow. 287 on the fly. Ned, there just aren't a lot of players on tour that have that shot. Unbelievable. Has a three-shot lead. This would stretch it to five. The largest 36-hole lead in PGA Championship history, 1994, Nick Price, five shots. From just under 30 feet, Kepka for Eagle. This one's just kept Brooks kind of loitering around a little bit. There really isn't a whole lot in it. It's just right center. You're trying to see how center cut you can make it. You're not thinking about missing it, just rolling it right down the line. Kind of like, like that. Kind of like that. Epka with nine iron. He'll thump this. Stock for him on the nine iron is about a buck 65, so he has to take a little bit off. Hold on. That didn't help Kepka. If anything, it confused him. So a similar line, but much closer. Brooks Kepka for birdie. for par and no one's moving around it better than this guy Brooks Kepka he seems to like it and he should beautiful drive from Kepka Kepka will waste no time this his approach at 15 it's right at it This guy is unstoppable. If there was a closest to the pin contest here at 15, Brooks would be leading. Incredible approach shot. And he capitalizes. Another birdie on the card for Brooks Kepka. Four seventy-three. He's been Averaging about 310. Go, 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 he is just tearing through that golf ball. A different sound coming from the driver of Brooks Kepka. Now Brooks Kepka, just a nine iron here on the 473. <laughs> Yards. He can go ahead and be aggressive here. A lot of space behind the whole location. It's almost like he's toying with the field. Think about incredible this. shot after incredible shot. Yep. On that left edge, and you have to keep your tempo rocking. So Kepka with yet another birdie, stretching the lead now. He's at minus 12. And here we are at the 17th. Brooks Kepka with a seven iron. Right between the two television towers, 15 feet right. That'll catch the spine of the green and start to just meander its way down. It's good for yesterday's whole location. Would have been great yesterday. Today, that is going to be a very challenging two putt. Brooks Kepka will be the first player to putt here at 17. Ned, I'll let you say it. 
I don't think it's that hard of a putt. It's inside of 70 feet, but everything collects to the flag. It was 67. Not a lot in this one, Brian. Just if you keep the pace up, it's inside the cup. Shall I say it again? Brooks Kepka, the only real sign of weakness in this great round of golf has been a little tentative with speed on the putting green. So Kepka loses it right, and he'll have a challenge there at the 18th. Now to Brooks Kepka from the fescue on 18. So will come off very high, no spin. Everything down grain, though. Lucky break. Just what we would expect from Mr. Kepka. Another beautiful approach. What fescue? Nothing can stop this man so far. Might it be the coronation of King Kepka? <laughs> It could be. Something special has already been here. This man has put on quite a show. Does he have one more thrill in the tank? He does! A closing birdie for Brooks Kepka. It just doesn't stop. 63 65. 128 and 12 under par, and that is a look at a very strong leader here in this 101st PGA Championship. As this one goes down, 128 shots, that breaks the 36-hole scoring record by two. That was 130. Gary Woodland said it last year.